Ladies of the 50s, I'm Anne Holland Granger. I am Carmen Herman. That's Carmen with a K. <laughs> I am Mary Ruggiero Elkind. I am Jean Barroso Durbano. I am Esther Villavicencio. And Joanna Marge. <laughs> Janice Pesho. I have my cards. I don't want to make a mistake. Oh, yes. Opening night, 1932. That was an exciting night. It was pouring rain, and people were late. When they got to the theater, it was December uh, 27th, 32. Height of the Depression. People were poor, poor, poor. Uh, but they came and walked into that, that theater, and they couldn't believe their eyes because it's all gold and everything's huge, and they couldn't believe what they were looking at. But it was a great, great theater, and it six 6,000 seats, all that nonsense. It was a wonderful show, except that it was too long. It lasted four and a half hours. <laughs> so <laughs> people, people left about you know a half hour, not a half hour, but at intermission, rather, about two and a half hours into the show. And they were so tired, and they all ran for the dressing table. I know the dressing I'm so tired. They all ran, <laughs> they all ran for the, uh, the ladies' room. And of course, I mean, 6,000 people running from the ladies' room. <laughs> <laughs> I said, let's go home. <laughs> I mean, this is ridiculous. So they went home, and by the time the show ended, there were like five or six people left in the theater. <laughs> it was absolutely stupid. They loved the show. They loved the theater. But of course, it was too long, and the reviews were rather poor. So of course, they changed their mind about that. Uh, it was only for one night anyway. And Mr. Roxy, or his, what he was called, Roxy, had colli he collapsed that night. He was so tired. And uh, they all rushed him to the hospital. He had it. It was a terrible. It was very, very long. Anyway, they changed the, the format. And then the, the shows were always the same, the same cast all the time for 42 years. Now, Mary, do you have a list of what was like there? We had a wonderful symphony orchestra with 55 pieces. And of course, 36 Rockettes. And we were 28 ballet girls. And there were 24 men's glee club. We had our own glee club then. There were two beautiful large organs on each side of the theater. And um, we had varies of vaudeville acts that were there. But it was quite a show. I normally would be sitting here. I was supposed to sit at this table because Tony was going to do this, so now I'm here. I had chosen to describe the stage at the music hall. It is daunting, it's dangerous, and it's debilitating. And I wrote, I, no, I drew a nice little thing to show you. Can everybody see this? Okay, and you see, I w I'll move it about, but I have the camera and the thing, it's really hard. This is better. You see it? Okay. The stage is, is that good? The stage is 144 feet. That's all right, darling, I got it. Oh, she's going to be my helper. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. I know. <laughs> she's good. The stage is 144 feet across, and it's 67 feet to the back wall. It's very, very big. It's so big that when you stand on it and say, I'm going to dance here, I don't think so. This is immense, and you're looking at the Grand Canyon. It's enormous, enormous. So you get used to it, but it's, it's scary. But the danger part of it is that the way it's built, it's made out of three elevators. And you see the three elevators there? And they're 20 feet across, and they go all the way across, 144 feet. And they can go all the way down to 27 feet and 13 feet in the air. And they're hydraulic systems. And so they can go slow, they can go fast, they can go fast, you ought to do whatever they want. It's, a, it's an accident waiting to happen, of course, you know. And it has often on that stage. So you don't want to fall 27 feet, you know. Uh, it's really awful. Now, what happens to this stage is one other thing. 
I'm going to turn my back on you for one minute. You want anybody want to sing something when I do this? Thank you. My helper. <coughs> now you like the artwork. This is really good. Can you see it over here as well? Yeah. Added to this is a churn table. The churn table is part of two elevators. It can sometimes be an entity in itself, but it also turns, of course, but it goes down 27 feet and goes up. That go all that goes together. It's a really incredible stage. And it was designed in 1932 and it's still working. That's pretty damn good. There's only one bad thing about this, and this is the reason I drew this. It's because all the black lines that you see there, including the turntable, it's metal strips. These are all two inch wide metal strips on the stage, everywhere. It's very hard to avoid them. In fact, it's impossible to avoid them. And especially if you're doing PK turns, you're doing ballet, and your, your toe shoe, you can't put rosin on that toe shoe. It's not, it doesn't help because it's slippy. So it's, you have accidents all the time. You can't be looking at the floor because you'll wind up on the floor when you're doing PK turns. So you can't protect yourself from stepping on the damn things. That is why I did, oh, here it is. Okay. I can sign this ac afterwards, you know. It's a wonderful, <laughs> <laughs> really lovely. So. This is, this is horrible, and I think you think, well, there can't be anything worse. There's only one more thing that makes the stage impossible. You should never have had a ballet there, ever, ever, ever. I hated this damn stage. It's cement. And so it's covered with a very thin linoleum thing, but it's cement, and cement equals shin splints, big time shin splints. Shin splints are very, very painful. If you're a runner and you run on cement, you know what I'm talking about. You don't, don't run on cement. That's why they run on dirt or tarmac. Never on cement. Now, in 100 years from now, you might be looking at this. Maybe they don't have cement anymore. Who knows? They don't know what shin splints are. They haven't got a clue what shin splints are. So I'm going to explain to them what shin splints are. Not for you guys, because you know. Shin splints are when you take a baseball bat and you hit your shins as hard as you can and it feels like the bone is all splintered, that's it. So, you know, I, I'd hate that, that stage. I really, really hated it. And there's one other thing that's too that added to that, as if there wasn't enough. The dark line down on the bottom here that's a steam curtain. That's on the apron of the stage. And that's about eight feet wide, and it's metal. Very mean looking metal with a lot of holes in it. And don't you step on that, my dear, because you're in the orchestra pit. That, <laughs> that's my conclusion for the stage. 